everybody, and welcome to the Monkey and Manimal Movies Missions Podcast, the only show on the entire internet where three autistic friends watch the movies that the audience votes for once a month, and it's fucking miserable. I'm Monkey Jones. I am Manimal. I'm the other one. Do you, you forget your own name? I, yes. I think we call you Long John. Long, or, lightning. Lightning, Long lightning Long Johnson. Long Johnson. That's Long Johnson. Because you have a long um, history of being our friend. Yes. Uh, I just want to start off the show by saying, fuck you oh to God. every single audience member. I was very fucking specific <laughs> that I wanted you to vote for a Serbian film. I begged and pleaded. And what fucking movie did we watch today, boys? What's the title of this video? It's not fucking a Serbian film, is it? Go ahead. What the fuck is it? Go ahead, go ahead, Lightning. Go ahead and say it for me. What the fuck movie did these motherfuckers vote for? God's not dead, too. N- no! <laughs> <laughs> you goddamn cucks! Voted in mass for gay niggers from outer space, and it beat a Serbian film by one fucking vote. And I'm spitting I'm all over me. I fucking keep getting a shower over here every time I wipe the spit off my face. Fucking pissed. Very fucking god, you just sprayed my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get it wiped off, he just sprays me with more. Monkey's monkey face is very purple right now. Yeah, that's every single video I record, that's how I look while I'm doing it. Yeah. So you guys are seeing some really exclusive behind, <laughs> behind the scenes. The stuff. scenes yeah. uh, if you monkey fans want to see what monkey's real face looks like. Just color it in purple. Oh yeah, just color it in purple. <laughs> and that's that's and me. Send money to my PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> so uh guys, can we just can we just all go around the table? And I'll, I'll say the title of this movie just to get it out of the way, because we all are going to say it at one point. And I know it's very... People are like, oh, you can't say that word. If you're discussing a film with a title, you can fucking say the word. The film is Gay Niggers from Outer Space. Lightning Long Johnson, what is the film? It is Homosexual... God damn it! <laughs> it's you, motherfucker! From the Outer Rims of... Okay, you don't have to change the words of Outer Space. That's not offensive. That's not PC. <laughs> <laughs> Manimal, what movie did we watch? Uh, Lightning Long Johnson. God, I was gonna do the it. same thing. <laughs> fucks. Okay, so uh, so this is the part of the show where we talk about the plot, and luckily this is a twenty-four minute movie. So uh, uh, correction, correction, twenty-seven minutes. Well, get it right. it's three minutes of credits that we didn't watch. That's fair. So <laughs> I would have fucking watched it if I could understand what the fuck the guy was saying. He was sitting. He was sitting so close to the goddamn fucking microphone, he couldn't understand a goddamn word he was saying. I also think, uh, the 24, 24, uh, 240 YouTube. What? Oh, oh, 240p? Yeah, 240p. Yeah, so we we couldn't read what anything said on the screen. Oh, no. Uh, this entire movie, I don't know if we watched the wrong version of it, but the entire thing is dubbed. So none of the words Mm, line up to the voices? That's probably the joke. Do you think so? Do you think yeah. it was on purpose? Yeah. I don't know if this was like a, like a foreign film and then some guys dubbed it in English or what the hell was going on. I don't know. Watching it, I don't, especially near the end, I don't know how you can get anything else out of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, fair. Especially with the end. I yeah. mean. So here's the, here's the plot Unless they just the struck a gold mine, they're just like, we can do some really gay shit with this. So here's the plot of, of, of gay niggers from outer space. There is uh, a bunch of gay niggers, and they're in outer space. Yep. Um, they, they're they from a planet called Anus, yep. uh-huh. is what they said. Not even your anus. No. Just <laughs> anus. That's the most obvious joke. Come on. <laughs> I think them making an anus was... I got a really good laugh out of that. I don't yeah. know if you guys laughed. All right. Uh, and this no. is all told to us from, <laughs> from as, as Manim was saying, a narrator who you can't understand a word he's saying because he's so fucking close to the microphone. He's just mumbling. Yeah. yeah. He's really close and he's just mumbling. But the sad thing is, the mumbling narrator is the best actor in the entire film. I don't know if they purposely got bad actors, like some sort of Tim and Eric sketch or what. I Yeah, I feel like it's definitely trying to be some sort of homage to like old 50s serials. Yeah. Like a or black like exploitation play- film? Yeah, yeah, but mixed oh. with like a black exploitation film. Hmm. But uh, the, it's just the one joke. Mixed with Wizard there. of Oz because it's, it's in black and white, but then it goes to color once they... Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> once they once, once they find the once they eradic- it's, it's, once they it's eradicate all the Wait, entry. don't spoil it, man. I'm sorry. We, we got to do this in order. So we got this Star Trekian uh, uh, plan nine from outer space. Yeah, it's a, it's a ship full of uh, black homosexual men who are on a mission to go to. Never seen a woman. 
I don't know if they're so much homosexual because they never do anything. No, that's no, homosexual. They're, they're, no, they're definitely it's, gay. It's, uh, <laughs> they're putting their hands in black anuses. At yeah. The end. <laughs> as you call it, the right. chocolate starfish. Right. As yeah. you said. I'm pretty sure they're gay because that's kind of the title of the movie. But uh, they they've never seen a woman before. They're scared of women, and then uh, one of them they find a new planet. It's not Earth yet, and one of them gets beamed down to the planet, and a woman tries to kiss him. Yeah, she's like, uh, why, don't you, "Why don't you hang out with me? We can have some fun." And and uh, what what does he do? Uh, he freaks the fuck out, starts screaming, "Beam me up! Beam me up!" But and then he shoots he, her. He ass. fucking kills her, and yeah. she like shoots evaporates. This is the beginning of what I'm gonna call the best movie I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> the female genocide. Oh, yeah, this, this is. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if this was Elliot Rogers' favorite film because Ooh. the plot of this film is to exterminate all women, and yeah. that we're not joking. That is literally no. the plot of the film to make it some sort of all male utopia. Sure. Now, I've I've never been gay, so you might have to. I've never been the gay. So, so <laughs> M- Manimal, you're gonna have to let me know if the, if the movie was accurate because I've never been gay myself. <laughs> Why do you look embarrassed? What's wrong with being gay, Manimal? I am not. I'm 16, dude. <laughs> nothing it's about the, me looks it's good. It's the current what? year. No, uh, but are, are gay men really afraid of women to the point where they want to kill them? Because I've seen gay men and women interact before, and they don't seem hostile. They seem friendly. Based on know. my research that I... Uh, <laughs> Out in the field? Following homosexuals around town. Uh, Just I can conclu- cruising. I can <laughs> conclude that upon my research... Mm-hmm. No, no, no. What? No, they're not hostile, or no, they are hostile. No. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> no uh, means no. <laughs> I learned that the hard way, and then you play slide with. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we have a soundboard in here? Uh, it would be Why very hard to implement. <laughs> Buy, buy a slide whistle. Let's get that in here. Oh, yeah, so we just actually make the sound effects. I, yeah. I think I think me and Lightning Long Johnson just making sound effects with our mouths is just as good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so th- then the the uh, the spaceship goes to Earth, and they decide, hey, let's just exterminate all women because they, uh, they think of them as oppressive. See anal beads in their spaceship. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Oh like yeah, Olympians. yes it does. I that's, was, that's I was hoping it would. One of the jokes. Yeah, I was hoping it'd be shaped like a dick, but I didn't even yeah, notice. Yeah, what the fuck? That's yeah. the most obvious joke. But Come anal on. beads is pretty funny too. Like a yeah. big black ship. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess you flying do through that. space. I guess you couldn't do that because then it wouldn't flopping be flopping around. Space. <laughs> so the first country that the the aliens, I can yeah, they're aliens, right? Oh no, it should have been a big black fist. <laughs> oh yeah, and then it kind oh. of like gone into the sun. Yeah, or it could have a, a <laughs> ship could have flown through the chocolate starfish instead of them putting their fists in it. And it's like a wormhole. Yeah, yeah, a wormhole. Why the fuck aren't we writing this? <laughs> We're uh, making a better. Uh, Is it a wormhole? A wonder wall, <laughs> if you will. If you will. <laughs> I won't save me. Uh, we should write the sequel. Um, let's let's get that kick started. Uh, we need a goal of one million dollars, and we will write the script. We won't make the movie. We need a million dollars just to write the script uh, because we're going to need it. Seven hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah. For a Rocket Crocodile in the World of Tomorrow. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so the first country that, yeah, country that they liberate is Russia, and they go and they're a bunch of white Russian farmers, men and women, and they're like plowing potatoes or very, something. Very, uh, it's very. I'll set the scene. It's uh, okay. It's yeah, paint me a little... paint me a word picture. Okay, so clear your minds. Okay, done. Completely done. Put it. Close that tab of hentai. I'm not even paying attention to what you're saying. I'm so clear. Put down your Fago. (laughs) I'm very thirsty. (laughs) Zip up your pants. (laughs) Zipper sound, zipper sound. All right. Now, if I they can't hear you doing that, manual. Imagine a desolate landscape. Okay. It's all in black and white, by the way. Crisp, like Nebraska. Okay. If you remember that movie, yeah, yeah. He he thought he won that one. Let's let's go ahead and stop talking about gay nerds from outer space. Oh, he said it. We got the sound uh, clip. The, man the, 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 did it. Damn it! The podcast is over. All I wanted was recording oh, you saying that God shit. Damn it! It was all a hoax. God, they didn't actually damn vote it. for this shit. It was a hoax. God damn it! Okay, it was Monkey sitting at his computer, clicking, on, <laughs> just refreshing I'm, the. Page I made over seventy over fucking accounts on uh, what's the name of the voting Strawpool. website? I made seventy straw poll accounts to vote, and you don't even make accounts on that website. It was uh, worth it. Who's, Why did you waste your time there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> who's the Who's the actor who stars in Nebraska? Uh, Bruce Dern. Yeah, yeah. He was in Fargo season two, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that guy. Okay. 
Yeah, he's an all, he's a he got he, he's his too, son got he's too old in, for me to remember. To death in uh, Hateful Eight. Whoa. Oh, that was him? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Shit, I need to see that. You haven't seen Hateful Eight? Oh, oh, fuck, fuck. I Vote for Hateful Eight in the next for you. <laughs> Vote oh, for Hateful no. Eight, guys. Yeah. Uh, no, that's great. Um, what were you saying about painting the picture? Oh, yeah. Uh, you were at Nebraska. Yeah. I was, yeah. okay, imagine Nebraska. Okay, I'm already uh, Bruce depressed. Bruce Dern plays an, an aging, aging man. Okay. And it's very, it, you, you decide uh, midway through the movie that I want to die young because I don't want to grow to be that old and sad and depressed. So is the movie a comedy or, or a drama? It's a little of both. Oh, okay. And Will... Will Ferrell's in it? Will Forte and oh, okay. Will Ferrell. Uh, in a dual role? In a dual role. Okay. It's weird. It's kind They're of like a Lynch like... film. I have one part of the movie where Forte's playing it, and then another part of Ferrell's playing it. I would just assume it's two different characters. If no, I... it's the same character. <laughs> there's a, there's, there's like weird. one point where the movie just stops, and they like tag in, and then just switch yeah. spots. <laughs> And it, it, you, you just they didn't see, even like, edit it out. You see Forte right. putting in his punch card, and you see Will Ferrell <laughs> putting his in to clock in. Yeah. And they kind of say, give a, hey, Will, hey, Will. On their way in and way out. It's kind of like those old sheepdogs. You just those, fucked uh, up my throat from laughing at that. Those old, uh, you fucking yeah. spit on me even more. God damn. <laughs> oh, oh, you fucking. God. All right. Disgusting. So, so, next sorry. seating arrangement. So I'll be sitting next to Lightning Long Johnson. Oh, no. I'm sorry, buddy. You can spit on me. Uh, no. No. Oh. Because I'm not a vile, disgusting creature. Do you still want to paint a picture? No, of, not okay. really. <laughs> okay, so they go to fucking Russia, and the, the aliens go, and they kill the women, and then the men are very... Happy about it, and they give them hugs, and they yeah. like wave at them. I mean, I assume that they had sex afterwards. I, 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 I feel don't like this was like happening. a gay porno with all the porn cut out of it. Yeah, that's kind of what I is was. Is that wondering. what it is? I, I, I don't know. Well, that's kind of what maybe I felt it was it going is. to be when I started watching it. I had that thought. I'm like 22 minutes. Because we watched this on YouTube, so yeah. maybe they had to cut out all the porn to put it up on YouTube. Yeah, very well. I wonder if the porn was in like. Yeah, that makes sense. Because that would that would tie in with the end of the movie. Yeah, when it's all in color again? Yeah, because like this perfect society is beautiful and colorful when they're fucking. Mm -hmm. You know? When all the women just, are about to die. Just some real hard fucking. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm about. Yeah. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pure sex appeal from animal. Hell yeah. With men. What's wrong with looking at a couple of couple of good looking guys? What's wrong with that? See see a buff guy jogging down the street? Slow down a little bit. Check out what he's got going on. Reach up those jogging shorts. Let's see what you can grab. I live in a college town, man. There are a lot of buff dudes running around. God just damn gotta, it. Just gotta look and see what they got going on. That's why, that's why you slow wear down, give them shorts when you drive around in your car so you can just slip them off real quick. Yep. And be like, hey, can you give me directions? And walk over the car. Into your pants. Into your pants. Yeah. Directions into his pants. So after Russia, then they go and liberate China. Beijing is what they pronounce it as. Yeah. The computer oh, says God. Beijing. No, it was Beijing. like it was, yeah, it was Beijing. Yeah, and Beijing. Uh, on the computer screen they have information about the women of China. Oh and no! Boy, oh boy, are they? I don't know if this is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They say that uh, the, the women are yellow and they're not very nice and that they eat with sticks. Yep. Like branches. They, yeah, they, they eat with branches. They speak in a high, uh, high frequency or something. Yes. Like that. So, if you if you go by 2016's PC culture standards, yeah. fuck the, PC culture. On, yeah. Only white people can be racist. So for this film <laughs> of black men to say that Asian women are yellow and high pitched and rude, it's not racist, right, guys? It, they can say whatever they want because because they're not white. Is that what I'm supposed to take away from this? Or Sh you shut got, up! You guys moving, are experts in PC on. culture, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're absolutely right. I am an expert <laughs> at the pussy crushing culture. <laughs> hey, yeah. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Crushing wow. it. I'm not a virgin. He's talking about boy pussy. <laughs> Do you guys like, know, about, uh, do you guys know like what I said? Like I, like I said, you drive driving down the street, see see a hot guy. <laughs> going, it's called cruising. Going, going, going for a little so jog. Do they, do they go to a shirt. place after Asia then? Or? Ask him if they want to go rock climbing. Is Asia the last place they live? Dude, right there is a rock the climbing gym. Yeah, well, I was talking about going to smoke uh, co crack. What, do, where do they go after Asia? Anywhere? Or is that when well, they go to the Well, first off, pool? I'd like to point out when they're in Asia, whenever an Asian person speaks, it's just English. Put back. <laughs> <laughs> That is that was a good observation. Yeah. And, and once you said that, I it was I heard it and it's like, oh that is what's going on. 
It would have been uh, again they should have into the Lynchian. Yeah, I was just about to say, like in uh, uh, Twin Peaks. Yeah. When he had them when he speak. Said the Black Lodge. Yeah, when he uh, speaks back, they have everybody speak backwards, and they play the audio forwards. Mm-hmm. So, what? Yeah, it's it's, it's really crazy. yeah, it's really off putting. That's, that's because fucking there's, hard. Because yeah. they're speaking properly. But it's just like a little bit off, and, all and it's backwards. yeah, and it's really, really unsettling. I need to watch more Twin Peaks. I Twin guess. Peaks. Watch the first season of Twin Peaks. Get halfway through the second season. Stop, and then come back for the last episode. And if you're tied into it enough, go ahead and watch uh, Fire Walk with me. Did, did they do the I third season? I really want to watch Fire it Walk with me. Something else. I pro- I'll do probably do not expect do not expect it to uh, to do any more explanations. Just expect oh. more and more questions to raise. <laughs> if it's anything like the last episode of the second season, I'll fucking love it. It. It's it's so weird because that episode is great. Uh, David Bowie's in it. <laughs> that is that makes me want to watch oh. it even more. Hell yeah! So believe it or not, everybody, we're at the end of the film now yep. because it ends with them leaving one of their guys behind to ex- exterminate all women, and then they leave in their spaceship. Well, it's over. first we get a glimpse of this glorious uh, it's a, all male it's a utopia. Pool? <laughs> It's just a swimming pool. <laughs> it's just a, dudes just hanging out by the poolside, just eating some bananas. And there's like a five year old kid Very there, and I was like, oh, they, they brought a five year old kid. Yeah, get your kid potassium in. up so you won't cramp up from all that swimming. Yeah. yeah. Or that fucking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or that swimming fucking in the pool. Yeah. 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 Man, we're fucking clean in the pool, that too. pool. I would. Who wouldn't want to? <laughs> yeah. Fucking in the pool. Fucking in the pool. Cleaning in the pool. Cleaning. While fucking. So when they go to this glorious utopia, the film goes from black and white to color. Which is very symbolic. This uh, Gay Niggers from Outer Space is a very symbolic film. Yeah. Very deep. It was written. Do we talk about how they chose their ambassador? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. We, we skipped we that so on purpose. Go ahead. Were they on their ship when they were deciding? Yeah, they're on their so ship. they're on their ship, and there's this uh, giant asshole. And um, the. And his name is Manimal. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Weird coincidence. How appropriate. <laughs> um, and. Um, their god, I believe, is talking to them, and yeah. he's like, he's, he's like, I think the asshole was the god. He's like, yo, stick your hand in me, and whichever one of you glows, that's who's going to be the ambassador for Earth. So they're all walking up, and, and they all stick their face. hand, and they stick their fist in. Yep, they're they're fisting, they're fisting the asshole. Yep. And then I uh, had to grab a pillow off the couch and put it on my lap, so nobody would see. My yeah, I was, I was glad it was, I was. It wasn't enough. <laughs> I was glad I had (laughs) glad I had a blanket on that time. Kind of like a scalpel. (laughs) I'm glad Manimal was sitting on my lap, so nobody could see my boner. Yep. I'm glad I was wearing uh, the compression boxers, so like (laughs) it just had everything compressed against my leg. I didn't mind that my erection was uh, was out in the open. (laughs) No. (laughs) Well, you're pretty you're pretty you know straightforward with that kind of thing. Actually, we have a a fan comment about that, but we'll get to that in the next section. Okay. Teasing it, I like it. Mm-hmm. Tease me more. Mm-hmm. Oh, I Edge am. Me out. You know what? <laughs> I am until all, I can't walk. So I'm all about that foreplay. So all about that edging. Speaking of foreplay and edging, we all fist the giant anus, and then the last guy to do it glows. Yep. So they leave him behind Did to kill all women. Did we talk about porn cum on that dude's head? No, that, that's, that's coming, coming up. up. Yeah, okay. that's at yeah. the end. So at the yeah they. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead. You brought it up. Uh, yeah, uh, they decide to dub the gay nigger mm-hmm. from out. Yeah, of- we all said it. <laughs> and so they take a vial of Cum? gay nigger seed. You <laughs> you can't see my hand parentheses. <laughs> I'll, I'll edit listeners. them in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's this one point in the YouTube video where you just see two fingers like on a like. Like, just arrest me as, like, in a green suit. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingers, like, how, how many... Black screen. Let's go ahead, go ahead, start a GoFundMe so we can fund a green suit that we can wear. So we can... With the just fingers to do, cut out. Yeah, yeah with just the fingers do, cut out. But we have to buy it specially with and the fingers the cut out. We can't cut, cut out. it. Because yep. that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing hand quotes for that? I don't know. I think it would just be funny to just see it, like, <laughs> hanging there. Yeah, but, but you put quotes around the word funny when you said it. Uh, uh, because it would be funny. Wait, no, 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 hold on. Okay, so why do they pour cum on the guy's head? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> they gave, they gave him the gay nigger yeah, seed. That was the dubbing. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. And he was now. Yeah, yeah, but why? He was white though. He well, he was he was. He, well, he was black, thing, but he's like Obama they black. Were, but they, were fr- they were from the planet Anus, but I don't think they they haven't a tr- uh, achieved the true level of gay nigger yet. Do you yet. think the, they're so like... So him uh, becoming the ambassador... They they're going to create the, a Star-Lord type where he's half half Earth human and half another type of maybe. vaguely human <laughs> Possibly. race. Are we, so we were saying that black people are only half human? Shit. <laughs> I'm saying whoever's from Anus. Shit. Man, why would oh. you even bring that Three up? Three-sevenths? <laughs> 
fifths. <laughs> well, it, it was three fifths. Three fifths. Yeah, yeah. Three fifths. Yeah. <laughs> Manimal. You fuck. I wasn't even the one that said that. It was. Anyways, yeah, moving on. History. Cut. I cut, said that. Cut. <laughs> take two. <laughs> cut. <laughs> moving on. Oh, Manimal's a white man, so he represents history. <laughs> oh, that's true. He writes. Whoa! Well, God damn it! <laughs> Cut! <laughs> okay, so they pour a cum on the guy's head and they leave and the movie's over. Yep. Uh, the end. Happy the ending. End. We didn't waste our time at all. Mm-mm. We've talked about the movie for about as long as the movie is at this point. Which is amazing. I didn't know. I had no idea how we were going to talk about this. Well, we, we, well, we ended up talking about Nebraska <laughs> and Twin Peaks and checking yeah. some hot Eleven. dudes out. While they're... Well, you talked about checking hot dudes out. I don't think <laughs> we said uh, a single everybody, goddamn everybody, thing. Everybody, everybody, go ahead. Go back. Go, uh, go ahead and time cap <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Rewind. Go back to when we start, about, start talking about you know some hot dudes. About seven so, minutes you know, in. Yeah, you see, see a guy running down the street. Are you doing a Matthew McConaughey impression? And then, uh, nope, I'm just doing my checking hot dudes out while they're running you down the street, You become Matthew boys. McConaughey when all hot right, dudes are All right, all right, all right. But I'm here, so you should always talk like that, right? Oh, well, and then moving on. <laughs> so, guys, this movie came out in 1992, and we, we didn't do any other background. What year? 1992. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to point out that Fire Walks With Me came out that year, too. Oh, oh, really? oh my. Just to tie it in. Whoa. So, uh, also the birth of a certain member of this team. Birth of I'm a not nation. Not gonna say. Birth of a nation. Birth of a nation. <laughs> yeah, that nation was birthed when I was birthed. Well, we didn't do any background um, looking up Wikipedia or anything about this movie, so we we don't know why it was made. I'm wondering if we can hypothesize why. We thought maybe it was a gay porn and they just cut out the porn parts, but maybe was it just like a uh, like a short film that was just made. I don't, as a joke or to make some sort of point uh, or what the fuck was the point some sort of why do they make this uh, either if it was, it was either a one bit joke that they really wanted to draw out for as long as they could but possibly who's, could who's they or they just wanted to make a point you know it was just uh, the local gay community wanted to make a point that, do you think uh, any of the actors in the film were gay uto- utopia without women <laughs> I don't feel like any of the actors were actually gay like I know they were all black but I mean I, that's sexist you don't know. What? You don't know. Sexist. <laughs> you don't know. Miss Andre. Yeah, Miss Andre. Yeah, sure. Miss Miss Andre. Who's Mrs. Andre? Uh, that's my mom. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Miss Mumpkey. Miss. What are you guys doing in my son's Mumpley. bedroom? Is her name Mumpley? Her name is Mom Key, actually. Mom Key? That's oh. and that's canon. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. canon. Is, yeah. Can I see the wiki page for uh, that? Uh, <laughs> now that I, I doubled my subscribers in one day, I expect one of you fucks to make a Mom Key Wikipedia page. And it better be uh, probably probably ten thousand pages. And you better yeah. cite all your sources because yeah. Lord knows I'm not going to do it. Also, God's not real. Yeah. It's all it's week. all YouTube sources except for one Newsweek. <laughs> 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 Pedophile anime reviewer goes crazy. <laughs> Watch here. Uh, uh, somebody said uh, that they were sending the video to Tosh.0 oh, and I really hope I'm not on Tosh.0. Mm. Oh. That's the last thing I need. Oh, no. That is going to deep grow out. No, I I do not want to be on Tosh.0. Oh. But, uh, do, Emmanuel, do you have any explanations for why this movie exists? I'm either going with it was, uh, like Lightning Long Johnson said, just a gay porno that they cut all the porn bits out of. If that's true, I want to see the porn bits. Oh. I mean, what? Who? Manimal, why'd you say that? <laughs> or, um... Maybe he's in his car. <laughs> I... Are you only gay in your car? Oh, shit, maybe. <laughs> Dude, his car makes him gay. Anyways, from um, space. So either that or it could possibly be that these guys just bought the rights to whatever the fuck this was for really, really cheap, and they're like, we've got some real gold here. We can make this really, really I gay. I don't know, fisting that black anus. It was too yeah. specific. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking it was. Ju- that's why I'm thinking it's just uh, just a gay porno. Yeah. That's what I thought until I saw those two scenes, and I was like, ah, there's no way. There is no way. I I don't think it's a gay porno. I think th- it is what it is, and that we didn't miss any of the scenes. Yeah. It's they just I I don't know why. Maybe they thought it was funny. I, I I guess it was pretty funny. There were a lot of scenes that were funny and a I lot mean, of jokes that were funny. But I guess, I'm guessing overall, it's a very expensive joke. A movie around that title yeah well yeah it could be it and that's why all you fucking idiots voted for this because of the fucking title i hope you guys were happy you were all let down <laughs> yeah i was certainly no I, I wasn't let down i thought it was funny it was exactly what i was expecting it to be. as soon yeah. as they said they were from planet anus i i got a good chuckle out of it yeah so let's move on to the the final ratings I uh laugh more if it was your anus, but okay. 
<laughs> we're gonna stick to the same rating system from last month where we give it a rating of one out of ten. Ten being perfect movie, one being absolute Don't tell dog me shit. how to rate my movies. <laughs> yep. I'll rate a whole row. Uh let's uh I think I'm the only one who took the rating seriously last time, so let's see how it goes this time. Maybe uh maybe Manimal will give it a six point nine out of ten, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, does, does anybody want to start off the ratings? I will give it a 6.9 out of 10. <laughs> a one black fist and an asshole out of five. Uh, uh, so it's a two out of 10 then. If you're. Because fractions. No. No? Be a four. What? Be a four out of 10. No, because he gave it a one out of five. Oh, I thought he said he gave it a two out of five. No, no. a one black no. fist and an no, asshole out of, out, 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 of, out, out of five. That's a lot of fists. <laughs> <laughs> and it's out of five, so yeah. I mean, just think of the elasticity Everybody's on that asshole. Everybody's just sitting there, like, just waiting for something in their asshole, mm-hmm. but only one guy gets a fist in his asshole. Yeah. Okay, uh, what about you, Lightning uh, Delta? I'll give it a star. Okay. <laughs> but a star has five points. Okay, so... Five, side, five sides. Okay. Five tips. But, is it a regular star, or is it a star of David? Or is it a... Like, is that or a maybe it's a pentagram. Yeah, I was just about to say, maybe well, it's a pentagram. Don't the Jewish stars have six points on them? That's the Star of David. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you said it has five, so I already know it's not the Star of David. I said stars have that. Oh, I didn't okay. say which kind of stars. Oh, okay, okay. Decide amongst yourselves. Okay, yeah, so this your your rating it, of the film is open to interpretation. Is it a star? Much much like a David Is it a Lynch pentagram? <laughs> Lots of Lynchian talk today. Is it a Star uh, of I, David? I recently watched Mahal and Drive, so... Oh, okay. You decide. Who's in that? Uh, Naomi Watts. I don't follow actresses. Who's the dude that's in it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. I just, uh, I don't give a Justin fuck about actors. Justin I writer of Jesus. Iron Man 2. Okay. Yeah. He's the actor in it? Yeah. Okay. We were talking about Iron Man 2 earlier. Maybe yeah, we'll we get were. back to that. Yeah. Uh, uh, your favorite Iron Man film, if I remember and I I don't think I said that. I think you did. <laughs> I, I defended it, but it's not my favorite. It is his favorite. I, I do like Iron Man 2. I do like that Sam Rockwell, and I do love his dancing. I, I really love Whiplash in that movie. I'm sorry. It's, he's really funny. Uh, J. Jonas Jameson wasn't in that movie, dude. Well, no, that's not what I meant. Um, I'll give this movie... And and this rating is going to be based off of just what we have to do for this podcast. Stop playing with the shit that makes noise. I can't <laughs> help it. Just stroke your dick if you need your hands to do something. I don't want to. I'm, sorry. Not in his I'm car. sorry I was spitting on you earlier, buddy. That's okay. He's just grabbing his keys and it's giving him an erection already. <laughs> <laughs> need to get in my car and get back to my hometown. So, God's Not Dead was a movie, I, what did I give it, like a 1.5 or 2 or something? I don't know. But it was such a long, drawn-out fucking disaster. It, was like, it made us miserable, whereas this film took us 24 minutes. So, based on its short time alone, I'm going to give it a higher score than I would usually, just because, you know, it's good for a quick laugh, and you don't have to fucking hate your life for two hours straight. So, I'd give this a solid 3.5 out of 10. Sure. If you need a, something funny to go watch with your buddies and you want to do it in 20 minutes... Skip around. It, it, well, yeah. it, watch but them. it's short enough you don't have to skip around, really. I mean, yes. there's there's something to be seen in every scene, I think. But anyway, I that's... I think that's a fair, fair rating. 3.5 out of 10. I don't think thank that's you. too bad. I, I take my ratings very seriously yeah. here. Maybe mine was fair. I like Lightning Long Johnson's uh, uh, rating. Is okay. it a star? Is, uh-huh. it a, is it a star of David? Is know. it a pentagram? You decide. Can we change the rating Your system decision. to star, star of David, or unknown for the next Maybe it's one? a real star, and it doesn't have any size. <laughs> it just burns brightly. It just, it just burns, burns bright. brightly in the vast universe. And it's, it's going to supernova and it pretty powers soon. powers Superman. So okay. So it can snap any night. Only, if it's, ye- any Only if it's yellow, or is it orange? Yellow? Uh, What's the know. color of the sun that makes Superman strong? Yellow. Yeah, I think it's yellow, the yellow sun. Anyway, let's move on to everybody's favorite section of the podcast when we uh, we get viewer mail. We had some good voicemails last week from actual celebrities. Um, uh, it, you guys may recall that last uh, last month I, I don't recall. Okay, I'll I remind don't recall you. Last month. So last month I I told everybody that we set up an email and that uh, fans listeners could send in emails. Uh, that they want us to read on the show. It's pretty impressive. They sent it in before the show was finished. Filming. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 this is this is new emails, guys. I want you both to take a guess, and whoever's closest will win a prize. How many viewer emails do you think not a fucking got one. sent in? Not one. How zero. many would you guess? Uh what's less than zero? <laughs> a negative one. Yeah. <laughs> We sent one out. <laughs> uh, we received one, but it's so bad I'm not even going to read it. <laughs> I'm guessing it was uh, unfavorable of the show. It was just like random meme shit. Like it wasn't even, had nothing to do with the show. So uh, 
I instead I took a bunch of, of my favorite comments from the, the comment section of the video. Okay. And we can read some of those for sure. the, the fan mail. So this one is from Levid Longoria. He says, hey, Mumkey, how are you today? Just wanted to say that I've been suffering from depression for the past year, but I came across your videos and decided that I'm going to kill myself. Congrats, buddy. <laughs> glad you were finally able to make that big yep. decision, uh, big I'm step in your life. Glad I could help you Got with that. Get over that hump. <laughs> yep. Get off the horse. And he did that on our podcast video, so you guys... Uh, t- can take credit. Hey, we helped well. in that decision. Yeah, hell yeah. I guess we're liable. Yeah, our, our podcast is so bad we drove a man to suicide. What other podcast can say that? Uh, the biggest problem in the universe because they abruptly ended the show last week for no reason. I so don't I don't know what that is. Uh, nope. I'm probably gonna kill myself because they ended the show. Oh. Huh? This next one is from the very baked potato. He says, I wish my flayed penis was lightning long, like lightning long Johnson's penis. Nice. Yeah, you do fucking wish. <laughs> nice. So, please, lightning long Johnson, how big is your dick? We all need to know. Oh, I... Last time, I, I tried to measure, but the ruler broke. I'm going to give it another star. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it a star of David or just a normal star? I won't say. Mm. That's for our fans to find out. Okay. So please stalk a Lightning Long Johnson and find out how big his dick is and yeah. call into the show and let us know. I hang around a, like uh, a lot of park bathrooms, <laughs> so maybe if you find me in one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just hang out there? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Here's one from Ladtron. I can't believe they just killed off Cordelia after bringing her back from a coma. If they kept her alive, do you think her and Angel could have kept a successful relationship? Excited for your new spinoff show discussing Angel. Thanks. T- uh, hope you get to my question. Thanks. I don't know what he's talking about, but he's I think talking you about, he's it. talking about Angel. Uh, um, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and discuss that more on my uh, personal podcast. Look for that tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be coming up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so well, what's it called? It's called Angel for One. <laughs> Angel for One, uh, plus two. Angel for One plus two. Um, it's gonna what? it's gonna be up tomorrow. Wait, who's the plus two? Us? No, it's gonna be him, and then he's gonna be like pausing the podcast, <laughs> and doing different voices. Different, no, it's gonna be the same voice. Do, hey, hey, he's just gonna react. Stop. To the Stop. <laughs> Why does he have to pause it? Stop. Then? Stop. Because he has to go no, sit on the don't the table. don't tell them my movie magic behind the scenes. All right, just go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna cut that out. So <laughs> nope. nobody. All right, not cut. So, just go ahead. Like I said, tomorrow is going up tomorrow. Go ahead and look for that. Angel. Angels Angel, in the Outfield. The Angel, for, Angel for one plus two. <laughs> Every week he watches Angels in the Outfield and then discusses it. Yep. Every so, single week. Angels for one like plus the, two. Those look guys for that tomorrow. who uh, they watched. Oh, what they fucking watch? They watched Grown Ups 2 and then they watched uh, Sex in the City 2 uh-huh. once a week for an entire year. And they went fucking nuts. Yeah. It's a pretty good podcast. Uh, so uh, look for that tomorrow. So do. We must have talked about Angel in the last episode then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, and then the last one uh, is from Imba Rudolph. It says, don't worry, manimal. Being racist isn't weird nor bad. It's actually pretty difficult <laughs> not to be racist today. Don't worry, buddy. You got someone out there feeling for you. <laughs> You're great just the white way you are. And his profile picture is of Adolf Hitler. <laughs> You've got fans and supporters. <laughs> yep, of your racism. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Keep that movement going. <laughs> the White Lives Matter movement. <laughs> uh, well, that's all. That's all the messages reverse I have racism. today. Reverse racism. <laughs> yeah, reverse racism. Uh, I believe we have a a voicemail from uh, Whiplash from the movie Iron Man Two. I don't know. Do we? <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, trying to play it. It's not playing. Oh no! There's something wrong with the file. <laughs> no, no, Looks like it's corrupt. Oh no! no. Oh, what a uh, shame. Yeah, oh, we'll just have to drag it to the trash bin. Oh no! Oh, I, I really no, wanted wait. to hear that one. Oh there, well. There it goes. I guess I think uh, Kermit the Frog called in again. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I'm that! Look it. at that! <laughs> and uh, it's uh, also in the trash. Yeah, we're just dragging that call to the trash. Oh, clear, clear the trash. Into the trash can. Into the trash can. There we go. And and it's gone in obscurity. Hey, guy. <laughs> what? He had it on his phone the whole time. He's playing the audio from his phone. <laughs> oh, it looks like the file. Hey, guys. Oh, currently wrong here. Uh, thanks for playing my voicemail in the first episode. Uh, I, I did not enjoy Manimal's racism. <laughs> I, Me neither. I, I can't. Kermit. 
I voted for a Serbian film, and I can't wait for that to win You're because a I'm a good disgusting fan. Disgusting frog, Kermit. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Do you remember that semen in a Serbian film when uh, semen in a Serbian film? Do you remember all the semen in the Serbian film? Actually, yes, I do. Oh <laughs> my god! I remember was, every single ounce. And then there was that semen scene where Miss Piggy. Uh, Mm-hmm. Was chained to a bed and had her head chopped off by a machete. No, that, that you're, you're getting it mixed up with a Muppets Serbian film. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sp- Muppets take Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, if you want us to write the script to that film, we need 1.2 million dollars yeah. on Kickstarter. So. And if we don't get it, then uh, uh, I was gonna make some plans, but. Oh okay, like killing yourself or. Yeah. Okay, uh, so now we transition into the part of the show where we. Uh, both recommend films that you should watch uh, that we personally like and we advocate for which film we think you should vote for for us to watch next month. Uh, and if you guys want to think about it, I have a recommendation lined up. You guys ready? Shoot. Okay. Shoot, baby. Shoot. Uh, this movie was in theaters about three weeks ago. It might not be out anymore, so you might have to wait for Blu-ray to see it. But it's a little film I like to call Green Room. Mm. I'm jealous. That I, oh, you never saw it, did you? No, I, oh, I went so to go good. see it, and then it, it was already out of theater. Oh, like a week later. Oh, that's tragic. Damn, it's such a good fucking movie. It's if you were if you were the type of person like me who says, um, fucking horror movies these days are garbage. I've never seen one that scared me in the theaters. It's all shit. This movie will have you on the edge of your seat, terrified, heart beating, and it's not even a horror movie. It's just like an intense suspense. thriller. It's an intense suspense thriller, yeah. and it's like the scariest thing I've seen in years. It's about this punk rock band who does a show at a white supremacist um, facility and they witness a murder in the green room and uh, the, the white supremacists are going to fucking murder them so they they shut the door and they're locked in the green room and they have to try to find a way to get out but it's fucking impossible and it's insane and it's fun and it's great and you're gonna love it you're gonna love it and, and mom key recommends it that jeremy selner is that the director's name i don't know uh he's going to watch out for Oh yeah, he did that, and he did uh, Blue Ruin. Blue Ruin, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that uh, is a good movie. Yeah, and he's had his name. I think I think I read a story yesterday, and he's been in talks about directing like Sicario too. Oh my god! Yeah, I, does that movie need a sequel? Uh, probably not. No, but I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it for sure. Uh, anybody else have a recommendation? No, Sicario. <laughs> Sicario? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that doesn't really need recommended because it was... You can, re- you can recommend it. People yeah. probably haven't seen it if they... I mean, not everybody has seen yeah. it. Totally check out Sicario. It's, uh... It's... I'd say it's a little... It's it's not super... It's kind of like a heightened movie. I mean, it's not a huge action. It's definitely a slow-paced burn. It's great in that sense, but I'd say if people are looking for, like, a realistic cartel movie, like... The story itself probably isn't that, but it's still. I mean, I don't. I didn't prepare for this recommendation, so I didn't think of what to say. The opening scene will hook you immediately. Oh, yeah. You Definitely. will be fucking absorbed in this movie in the opening scene. So just give it a shot, and you'll love it. You will love it. Animal, you skipped the recommendation last week because you were so flustered. Do no, you have I one didn't this skip week? my recommendation. I recommended my fan edit of Batman. I don't remember that. Happening. Yeah, I. I you Batman don't. Returns. You don't remember. It was the, it was Batman Returns, but he added a bunch of squeaky noises every time <laughs> Catwoman walked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it was my <laughs> fan <laughs> edit, and it was just the scenes of Bane. I, How do you forget n- this? You, I showed you this. Like I sent you a link to my fan edit. Is this a bit? <laughs> no. I sent you a link to my fan edit, uh-huh. and I was like, "Hey, Mumkey, what do you think?" And you just sent me back gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't it say gay, I said gay. gay niggers from outer space. So, this week, I'm going to recommend... I did another edit. I've been slaving oh, away. Oh, god damn it. Been slaving away on this one. How are they supposed if, to watch it if it's if your you, edit? If you it's just on your computer. Me, if you know me, He's you still, know... He's uh, still Topher Grace's uh, Star Wars prequels edits. Oh, okay. If you know me, you know how much I love my Nicholas Winding Refn. Yeah, well, you sure. I did a did fan Did you somehow edit. edit his last two movies into being good? Damn. <laughs> you didn't like Drive? 
Uh, I'm I'm re- not referring to Drive. I'm referring to uh, the um, Neon Demon. That hasn't even come out yet. Yeah, I was but it's say. getting shit reviews. It got booted cans or whatever the fuck. Every, every fucking everything gets booted. Cans. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna... Glorious Bastards got booted cans. No, um, it didn't. Yeah, it did. So fuck here's cans. the thing. Here's yeah, the thing. Here's cans. the thing about Only God Forgives. Only God Forgives got booted at cans because it sucked. But it, but it got it got a standing ovation at Sundance. Yeah, but it sucked. I'm just saying, cans fucking booze <laughs> Monkeys, everything. Monkeys movie opinion. The movie's fucking awful. So uh, what I've done, I'll, shut the fuck up. I'm Let me remind t- you of a scene in which Ryan Gosling yells at a prostitute. That movie has a lot of dress. great scenes, but overall, I hate it. I, I would I watch, enjoyed it. Watch I liked the good it. scenes on YouTube. Don't watch the movie. Nah, uh, I don't listen to him. Go ahead. You know what? What? We're gonna save my. You're, we're gonna save my fan edit. For another episode. This week, I'm going to recommend Only God Forgives. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Only me, God damn it forgives. I'm, oh. I'm editing this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to spoil anything. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to watch this movie. It's going to be an experience. <laughs> you're going to wish you weren't watching it. You're nope, going to start texting nope, on your phone. <laughs> nope. You're going to enjoy every fucking minute nope, of it. You're, you're not going to be able to look away from the screen. Every... Every shot of Ryan Gosling staring into nothing while a bright colored light is Just like I do. For a minute at a time. Just like I do. And then every single personal picture that you take from now on, you're going to make sure there's a red light glowing on your fucking face. It's (laughs) going to be great. You're going to love it just like I love it. Watch it. There are a lot of great funny scenes, but the movie is boring. Allow the TV screen to illuminate on your face, and then you take a picture as well. TV screen? They're watching it on their phone, dude. Come on. You give a little Thailand. You're giving them two Sing a little karaoke. Wait, what you a say? Karaoke. Go to little Thailand. Thailand? Oh, is that where... Is that, was it in Thailand? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wasn't it? I don't fucking know. All right, now's the part where we're going to decide which movies we want to beg you guys to vote for for next week. And I will say that um, to replace uh, Gay Niggers from Outer Space on the list, I'm going to fill it in with Song of the South because mm-hmm. I recently acquired a copy of it. Okay. So that is now on the list as well. Uh, but yeah, here's the list, guys. Uh, you guys can decide what you want to see. There's a bunch of good movies, a bunch of not good movies. A bunch of great movies, Shrek 2. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek 2 is great. Um, hmm. Let's see, what do I want Chef. to watch? I've watched that movie so many Manimal goddamn times. Manimal has seen times. Chef over 100 times. It's Probably. I watch it at least once a week. Sometimes twice. Oh, I know what I'm fucking picking. Vote for a Serbian film, you stupid motherfuckers. How hard was it? I beg the... They didn't even listen to the podcast. They just clicked on the link and voted and left. And they're like, oh, this is a funny... It's the word N-word and I'm going to fucking vote for that. Fuck you all. Vote for a Serbian film. That's my case. What do you guys want to fucking see? Nah, you guys should vote for Dunstan Checks in. I- I'd be okay with John that. Jungle Boogie. Da, da, da. <laughs> uh, is that, that's your whole pitch? Just vote yeah. for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just, Dude, just do it. <laughs> uh, I'd like to say, uh, notice how angry Monkey is about you not voting for Serbian and film. And vote for Dunstan Checks <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, don't vote for Serbian film, because I like seeing... Um, Are this, you guys going to double team on Dunstan? No! Yeah! <laughs> nah, let's... Man uh said Dunstan checks <laughs> What do I got Monkey here? You know... You want to vote for Chef, don't you? They're going to fucking vote for Chef. That I got a shit ton of votes last time. Because it's a fucking meme, god damn it. Yeah, <laughs> why I mean... Is it a, why is it a meme? I don't know. Be- because because of Filthy Frank, Frank just... He throws it into all his videos now, and it's funny. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. For, like, he made a, a cooking video where he cooks... You haven't uh, seen his cooking videos? No, I've seen that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, that's where it started, right yeah. there. Okay. Um, Every, I, and, I don't... And, you know, the funny thing... I don't understand why, like, he's so obsessed with it, because it's legitimately a, a fine movie. Uh, it's a forced meme, but it's a funny meme. Yeah. Uh, something interesting to note is that every single movie I like on the my list. Memes natural, you know? Yeah, like uh, fresh from like that fresh boy. From, yeah, that boy. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> talk about fresh. <laughs> uh, every single movie on the list got multiple votes in the first voting thing. Huh, so, so cool. everything got like two or three votes at least. So I thought that was pretty um, cool. I, cool. Cat saves the kids. What's that about? Uh, it's, story there. It's you haven't heard good. of that? No. It's, oh. it's another. Fucking... It's a your movie sucks meme. I think. Oh. Yeah. It's not very good. Um. There's. I. Doesn't... Can you just fucking pick a movie? This is the longest fucking part so far. Uh. You know. Uh... You pick Chef, don't you? Space Jam. Nah. Nah. Dog. Man um... bites dog. Let's go ahead. Man bites dog. That's another like twenty minute one. No wait. No, I'm thinking of that uh Venom Venom fan video of Man bites dog. Oh. Let's go ahead and go with... A Serbian film. Good vote. 
No, I'm not seeing. Um, I'm seeing Shrek God's. Right there. I see God's not not dead on here, but I'm not seeing only God forgives on this list. It's not gonna be on the list I'm because not seeing, I'm making the list. I'm not seeing you know drive on here. I'm not seeing God's not forgive. <laughs> God's not forgive. Drive does um, not forgive God. I'm not seeing you know Valhalla Rising on Can here. Can you just fucking go? <laughs> drive to Thailand, Bigelow. I'm not. I'm not seeing. Uh, this is. Not seeing a pusher on here. If you don't say it right now, I'm gonna spoil the ending of God's <laughs> does not forgive um, or whatever. The let's fuck. go. I'm gonna fucking spoil gonna the ending ahead. of three. Shrek two. two. Let's go with Shrek two, everyone. I don't give a fuck what you vote for. Just don't vote for a Serbian film. Because I don't want to see that shit. That's why you should vote, vote for it. Vote for Dunstan I do kind of. I haven't seen that, but I do want to see it. I've seen it uh, probably well over 50 times. Why? I used to watch it a lot when I was a kid. You used to have like, a VHS of it and yeah. you kept putting it in? Yeah. That and Independence so Day. So it's like a, it's a monkey who checks into a hotel and that's the movie? Yeah, and he gets into all sorts of banana shenanigans. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I changed mine. Let's go with that. That sounds great. If you don't want to vote for a Serbian film, you can vote for Dunstan Texan. I'm okay with that. It's the fucking monkey show why aren't we watching dunstan checks in he's got a point because they didn't vote for it anyway that's all we've got for this month wow what a wild ride if you're still here it's another miracle two months in a row somebody listened all the way through you don't have to listen as soon as you stop listening we'll stop making this no i mean i guess that's kind of true but they're they're gonna keep clicking on it so i don't know uh what the f- fuck off, computer? Uh, for the Monkey and Manimal Movie Missions podcast, week number two, I have been Monkey Jones. I have been Manimal. I'm Rod Todd John. Lightning Long, Long Johnson. Long. <laughs> Long Schlong. Please uh, go to the email in the description and send us some fucking fan mail or wrote, write comments or yeah, something. I've seen these two with all their fan art showing off. Where's my fan art? They what have, are you going to draw? They don't have the slightest clue what you fucking draw. draw like. out with a giant give dick. Them a, I'll give you a good idea. I'm about <laughs> six foot five. It's true, actually. Yeah, uh, that is true. He's very tall. I have, I'm wearing a He's postal, wearing a ma- male hat. hat. Uh, Let I me go glasses. ahead. I would like to paint a picture of the first time I saw Lightning Long Johnson's okay. penis. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is, how do you think the name came about? Because he has a long dick? How do you think I would know that if I hadn't seen it? Because you looked at it? So, Lightning Long Johnson walks into my living room. He's <sighs> wearing silk pajama bottoms. <laughs> Yeah. Earlier that day, sexy. <laughs> earlier that day, he just bought a pair of compression boxers that said they, compression they said poppy on them. Yeah, they, they were, were compression briefs. Com- compression briefs. I'm sorry, they said poppy. Pelican briefs. Pelican briefs. They were orange, okay. and, the, and the trim was blue. He comes walking in. He looks at me and he says, "You want to see my dick?" Yeah. He comes in. Shut up. Uh, is that what he in, says? I just made that up. Just, like, said, "Hey." You guys want to see my penis? <laughs> I looked Did at really him. Did you really do this? I looked at you know, I was like, I said, don't ruin my story. I'm painting the picture. Allow me to paint the I picture. I didn't say, do you guys want to see my penis? He comes, he comes <laughs> well, walking in. you guys? How many people were it there? Was you and another friend of ours. Okay. And and I look at him. And I gaze into his eyes. And I say, <laughs> no, man. What song is that? No, man. Time in a bottle? <laughs> I'm okay. From X-Men. Shut up. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see your penis. And he looks at me. He nods and said, "You yes. weren't in your car at the time, so you didn't shut see it. up." And he says, "You guys are gonna see my penis." <laughs> he hooks his thumbs around his silk pajama pants, uh-huh. and he pulls down and slabbed against erotic stories. His from right, real men. his right leg <laughs> is the flaccid penis. Of Lightning Long Johns. His flaccid dick was bigger than your hard dick? And his flaccid penis was, in fact, bigger than my hard penis. Jesus Christ. I need to see this more. <laughs> and, Is that the end? And I, done? and I... My, my head goes from his penis up to looking in his eyes. <laughs> with the biggest <laughs> smile on Lightning Long Johnson's face. As he nods. Oh, yeah. Did this story actually happen? That's Lightning? what I'm packing. It's- this story has been heightened. Okay, just like you said, but niche. that did, but that did in fact happen. This has, this did happen. Uh, with all the that dialogue too. How old were it's, you guys? We were in high school. Oh, okay, well, so- in high school, you can show some. Sophomore or senior year, uh, or junior or senior probably, year. It's probably senior. 
Sen- mm. Yeah, probably senior. <laughs> okay, well. But that did in fact happen. Because Lightning Long Johnson bought silk pajama bottoms and these compression briefs. I have a feeling day. all three of our female listeners are just rubbing their clit right now listening to that story. I, I don't even have one. I am. <laughs> yep. Okay, I already said goodbye, so it's fucking over. See you next week. Send us some mail and leave some comments. You want to say the last word, Manimal? You guys want to see my penis? <laughs> <laughs>